So today we have the... Whoa, this is sounding hollow. <laughs> today we have the bathroom water challenge. Uh, I bought some stuff, I'm going to show you in a minute. And uh, we're going to connect uh, water in this bathroom. Uh, it took me some figuring out because uh, the Portuguese system is just a little different than the Dutch system. Uh, Dutch is mainly uh, steel pipes and um, I know also like in America and stuff they have uh, these flexible tubes uh, that they connect and they also have them in Portugal. In Portugal they also now have the steel uh, piping. Uh, I saw them for sale also, but uh, this is a cheaper, uh, cheaper solution. Uh, it's called a multicam system. It also has some different varieties and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll explain something about that also. Uh, so what are we going to do? We're going to um, put up a boiler for the hot water, somewhere here maybe, you need to see. And then we're going to connect um, the toilet to only the cold water of course. The sink, uh, we're going to connect a hot and cold water. And then we need to take a look at the shower. So I had a solution for the shower where I wanted to connect the, the shower head uh, to the normal sink. So you get, could get a, a shower with hot and cold water. Um, but that's probably not going to work. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so I might need to buy uh, a crane for the, for the shower. Uh, let me show you what I bought. Um, the bidet we're probably not going to use, so I'm not going to connect that for now. Uh, the water needs to come from here. And I don't want to uh, open this up yet, so I'm just going to put um, the piping over the pathway. And then uh, bore a hole and uh, get it through the wall. So uh, here we have the boiler I bought. Uh, 50 liter. Uh, eco-friendly and we have here uh, it's upside down but it's the um, the water reservoir for the um, for the toilet I think I have everything I need there and then here we have whole box uh, this is the multicam piping I took uh, 16 mil because I only need to go short and uh, to one bathroom yeah and this is the other stuff I bought a lot of connections for the multicam system and also some uh, three quarters and some half uh, connection stuff. Uh, the problem with the shower I was talking about was that I thought that maybe if I just removed this front of the crane here. Uh, there's a thread in there and I thought uh, maybe with one of uh, for instance these things I could put that in there and then connect the end of the shower hose to the other side. But uh, this is a peculiar size. So a uh, quarter is not gonna fit and a uh, half is uh, too big. So we need to see what we're gonna do about that. And then I bought two of these wall plates for connecting hot and cold water to the sink. Um, this can attach to the wall, of course. Uh, here comes the um, multicam, the piping I bought. And then we need to connect here on this side. We need to go into this connection for the crane. And this is gonna go somewhere inside there. And then we need to connect these two together with something like this again. Uh, I also uh, bought a crane to shut the water off. And let me show you, this is like, um, um, this side is the multicam system. So you have different kind of multicams. You have the ones you have to um, press with a, um, yeah, with a very big tool um, and you cannot remove them. And this is a sort of a removable system. So you put this, part here on the hose and then you put the hose on here and you connect it like that and then you just twist it tight very easy 
So uh, I bought a whole different uh, bunch of this stuff. Um, some particularly because I know I need them for something. Um, for instance, let me see if I can get two hands here. Um, for instance, this one where the multicam was coming in and then we're going, um, uh, sorry. This is not where the multicam is going in. This is coming off. Here we will connect this hose. If it doesn't have a rubber ring, I have some uh, with this tape. You need to tape it in. And then on this side is going to be the multicam. So also with some tape, this should fit in there. Yes. So this is going to the crane, and here comes uh, the multicam. Um, yeah, and then we need uh, cold water to the toilet flushing thing. This will be uh, connected, um, this will go on the inside and then the small pipe will stick out. And here we also have, um, let me see, where is it? Ah, it's actually the same kind as this. Only then we're gonna put in, um, sorry for that. And then we're gonna put in uh, a ring to make it smaller. And then it's gonna fit onto there. See? Um, then I also bought some tools. Um, this is the one for cutting the this piping. Then they say when you cut this piping, it um, it dents a little, so you have to have a, a tool to make it nice and round again. So this is for all sizes of multicam. I have the um, 16 inch. And then we have this uh, thing to bend the pipe so that it won't, um, that it'll, it'll bend in a round way and not squeeze the pipe in, in one place. Uh, maybe some other tools I need. Let's go for it. So first up is um, we need to drill some holes. Uh, for the boiler, but also for the flushing for the toilet. We need to uh, drill a hole here for the incoming uh, water pipe. And we need to drill a hole there for electricity, because no electricity. Um, it's all uh, for the boiler, we'll first do the, do the boiler. Uh, yeah, only thing is you need to connect a um, water overflow thingy that is uh, with the boiler. That's actually uh, the only exciting thing. Um, so the boiler has uh, this template that you can use. Um, I just measured it out. Also this has a template flushing for the toilet. Uh, maybe I'll use that template, I need to see. Uh, and this came with the boiler. Uh, these I don't need, it's for a smaller pipe. And this is the overflow uh, security thingy. Um, so, I'm not gonna teach you how to drill a hole. I'll just drill these holes. And uh, put on the boiler. There. Maybe not.
Not an ideal spot, but uh, hey. There we are. Um, because this has a little incline here, and this uh, side is flat, level. I'm gonna drill from this side because I don't know uh, what height I should drill here. Drill from here. There we are. <laughs> That's a lot higher than I thought it would be. But we can work with that. I drilled uh, two extra holes. I'll show you in a minute uh, why. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Um, but I drilled the holes for this, for the flushing, for the toilet. Um, but I first needed to uh, cut this uh, pipe. I left it a little bit uh, higher because then uh, when you put up the seat, it stays there. That's better. Um, it's hanging. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, uh, this was the extra hole I drilled because it's hanging with these, uh, what is it, hooks. Uh, you can just bump it up and then it would fall off the hook. So not that anyone is gonna bump into it, but just to be sure. Up. So all the holes should be done now. Let's see if we connect some of the piping. Now the real work starts. Two hours in, <laughs> sweating like an otter. That's a Dutch saying, sweating like an otter. A water animal. Anybody knows a Portuguese variant for this? Sweating like a what? But it's coming together. Let's connect the water. So I was trying to make uh, the first connection, just as a test, uh, there's a ring in here, and um, this is the way it normally comes from the cutter, and yeah, you can fit it on here, but um, that doesn't work very easy, and also it pushes the, um, the rubber rings here off of the grid where it's in. So um, so I thought, uh, yeah, then use this tool that uh, the guy uh, from the AKI uh, recommended. So then you try to push this in here and uh, it doesn't really work. I get the idea, but um, <laughs> it's way too stiff to just push it in here and open it up. Um, so uh, I just used the, the back end of this uh, drill. <laughs> And just uh, made a little bit bigger. Um, note, uh, first you have to put on the, <laughs> the ring and the seal. I put them now on from the other side. <laughs> um, and then you can easily fit it over here, see? Plop. And then it's just a matter of uh, tightening. This thing here, very good. I won't tighten this one, but you get the idea, right? Let's do this. In Holland, when you hear the squeaking sound, it's perfect. Let's see how it is in Portugal. First I'm gonna get it. First I'm gonna get it. I can't even talk anymore. First I am going to eat a sandwich because I'm 
hungry. See you in a bit. Um, first connection made. So now we need to go from here to here, but it also needs a tea. Is the cold water because the tea also needs to go to the boiler here. I'll show you this in a minute. Um, so uh, yeah, this needs to go somewhere in there. So we need to see that we can make a tight corner here. I have I have tool for that. And these this is the normal one, but because this is a smaller size, we just screw in this thingy, but here needs to go uh, this tape. And it needs to go here. And it also needs to go here in between. So let's try that. That's enough. Put on some more the next round. Okay, so now here also needs to go. So the tape is to make the seal watertight. It's used when it doesn't have a rubber ring or uh, some kind of uh, how do you call this clamping mechanism. Maybe that's not enough, but we'll see. So now here needs to go a little piece of uh, multicam, as short as possible. So we leave enough room for uh, the corner. At first I thought, what is with this uh, strange cutting device? It doesn't cut, but you have to put it farther open. And it clicks. Really small. A special trick. to both sides, straight away. Is this still open? Yeah. Ooh, now I made a mistake. <laughs> Stupid me. I should have put the rings on first. Try again. this side with the ring, one for the other side with the ring, and then we enlarge this one, then we enlarge the other side, put it on here, now let's set snook with the other T part here. This works very easy. Okay, it's still a little long. Let's see how we did with uh, the corner part. So I got this other tool for bending the corners. According to the tool, it should work. Is it tight? Just roll it on the floor to get it straight. And see approximately how much we need. Like this in the corner. Somewhere around there. And then the most important part here. Never did it like this before. 
We should be able to make this bend here. Okay, that should work. Don't forget the rings. Then we make it an easy peasy bigger. And we connect that right there. And then that's I'm gonna cut it here and put it there. And I also uh, tighten them up. Uh, here we will go to the sink. And here we will go now to the boiler. The boiler has here uh, one of the fittings uh, for the multicam. And the other part for the overflow pressure protection. I don't know what it is, overflow or pressure protection. Or pressure protection overflow. <laughs> and this also needs to go with a uh, tape, with the white tape, because it doesn't have a ring or any clamping. This also needs to go with white tape. And then we can put here again the multicam. Let's do that. Give you one more uh, quick tip. Usually with the, the white tape, if you cannot make it to the end of the thread, so if it's too tight halfway the thread or maybe three quarters, then it's correct. If you can uh, tighten it to the end of the thread, then mostly you don't have enough uh, of the white tape. I think I put in enough here on both. I'm not sure about those. Uh, we'll see. So I bend it, uh, this part to fit uh, in there and then go to the wall. But yeah, as you can see, I cannot measure it now. So what you can do then is just turn the thing around, put this where you want that, and then bend it here at exactly that place. And then when you turn it around, it also fits. Uh, it should also fit. Let's see. So, oh, that's almost correct. So um, first I'm going to fit it in here, because then it's getting another centimeter higher. Then we're going to cut it and put it in there. Put on the ring first. <laughs> Now, it fits. It isn't the most beautiful, but yeah, it's not to be beautiful, it's to be practical now. I rather had um, an L connection here that would run to the wall and then have it straight on the wall and then going down. Um, this is good enough for now. This is a temporary setup anyway, maybe a year or something, until the rest is uh, renovated. So uh, yeah, happy with this. Um, yeah, so now the, the warm water also needs to go here and then down and then connect it here to the sink. And also this cold water needs to go here and connect it to the sink. I'm first gonna do the cold water and put on the crane because then maybe I can put on some water on it already. Let's see. Really excited to see how this uh, stuff is uh, holding up. I mean, not leaking, preferably. 
So I'm first gonna check if the cold water works. I connected here uh, this thing already. Uh, we're gonna hook it up in the corner there to this. Normally, this is not the right way to do it. <laughs> Normally this would go uh, on the wall here, but uh, the, the multicam would come out straight and I have to bend it again to the wall. Um, because I still have to go here to the shower also, which I don't have the connections yet and we'll buy tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna buy two more corner pieces so it fits a snug from the wall into the corner piece and then I will uh, attach them to the wall. Here I put again the white tape for the connection in here. So this I taped up. This one that comes from the from the tap, nice tap. Uh, this already has a rubber ring in it. So this is what I was telling you. If it has a rubber, and it doesn't need a, the white tape. So like here, we're just gonna connect it straight up there. But first, I'm gonna put it there in the corner, and after that, we can see if it works. Exciting! I'm so excited, and I just can't... Ah, excited. So, this is connected for now. So the cold water should be able to run, and the cold water should be able to go into the boiler. Uh, I don't think anything is coming out, as long as you don't. Uh, I don't know, actually. Let's see. Um, yeah, here it's just running on the floor now. Uh, I wanted to put it here on the bottom of this T-connection. Uh, at the top there was a small crane for outside. Uh, I needed to remove that, but this is a very big diameter and I haven't got that. So for now I'll just remove the crane. Um, tomorrow I will buy some more stuff and this will also change. I'll show you that tomorrow. But for today, let's see if the water runs. Other side, sis. Let's see what's happening. <laughs> She's gonna put on the water. So far, so smooth. Ah, we have some leakage here. Yes, I was afraid of that. I told you guys. And also this one is dripping, but maybe that's normal. Oh yeah, only this one we have to look at. For the rest, it seems very smooth. Ew. <laughs> Ah, I removed the filter here, so I have to put it back this way to strain the strain stream of water. The noise you hear is the boiler filling up. We do have a flushing toilet. Nice. Okay. So I'm gonna shut the water off, I'm gonna quickly uh, fix this. And then we'll continue tomorrow with some hot water and a shower. See you later. Okay, uh, <laughs> I just turned the camera off. <laughs> I was showing my sister, still need to do this and that. And then a whole bunch of water started pouring out. Just like that. <laughs> Turn it off! So, uh, <laughs> this does need a connection. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we have a clean floor. Well, almost. <laughs> so, I thought I'd show you guys. Here at the Akai. At the water section. So, this is the multicam system that I bought. Um, these are the tubes, bigger tubes. Um, 
Yeah, so this is a multicam with a twist on. And on this side, you see multicam with um, where you need, you need to use the, the pliers like this. Very expensive. Uh, but then these um, things are a lot more cheap than these, for instance. Um, but I wanted to do it easy now, so um, I'm used to twisting in Holland, because in Holland we use, let me see, uh, in Holland we use uh, this stuff. And it has uh, twisting on two sides, and then you use uh, metal piping uh, to connect it together. But these are even more expensive. So I don't know what I'm going to use for the future, but for now I'm using this stuff. So uh, what did I need? Let me see. Uh, two of these. The corner parts for the sink. And what more? I think not more multicam. I do need some other stuff. Uh, here we have the rings uh, for bigger sizes and smaller sizes. I need one of these to connect them to the, um, the tap where the, where the water meter is. I had the T-junction and this is going to go in the bottom. And then I'll take one of these just to be sure. That fits in there. And then... I'm just going to take one more that fits in there. I think that's it. If not, I'll get back to you. And they also have this stuff for the um, cranes. For the taps. I took uh, two of these. All different kinds of uh, sizes. Ah, I also need a shower. Something like this. Very cheap. Forty-seven sold out. That's a bummer. What more do we have? So next day. So next day. <laughs> Um, well, actually, two days later, we're continuing today on the on the water piping for supplying the bathroom with water. Uh, I did have some uh, other tasks uh, in the last couple of days, like uh, weeding the garden, and in the back there making a vegetable garden. I'll show you that in an upcoming video. Um, what we did here. Um, last thing <laughs> you remember, all the water was uh, <laughs> coming from this pipe. Um, so that same day I quickly connected uh, the hot water. Uh, not very nice just uh, to put it in there. Um, advantage is we had uh, with this camping shower unlimited hot water because uh, I just filled up the sink here and then uh, leave the water running and then uh, you can have an uh, infinite shower. <laughs> so that was sufficient for us. Um, but yeah, we do have to finish. So um, I have a crane for the shower. It's gonna come somewhere there. And I bought other connections for connecting the sink. So I'll show you that also. And then we have to, um, we have to make sure that the pipe here is a little bit connected to the wall, I think here. Uh, here it will have uh, wall plates, so the, the, um, the connections will, uh, will fit on the wall. And then the, the pipe will go in there, so that will be stable. You can see now, <laughs> if I turn on the, the water. <laughs> the whole pipe bangs everywhere. <laughs> so we're gonna fix that and then uh, try out shower. 
So first I will um, put in these two wall plates for the sink. And then um, I have some more T splits for the multicam. So it will go into the sink and then go further down to the shower. Let's do that first. First, maybe turn off the water. Ah, I don't know if I showed you this already. Let me see. Uh, how can you see this? Yes. So first, uh, you remember maybe I wanted to connect the um, bathroom to the uh, low side here of the this T connection, but uh, this screw uh, it won't come loose. Not in a million years. Uh, so what I did is um, I used the top one and then put in a T connection. Uh, the below one goes to the bathroom and the top one now goes to the outside crane. And then we put in a T for the garden uh, hose and the automatic uh, sprinkler for the, um, for the garden. Show you that in another video. Uh, so yeah, that is what we connected here. Now we need to turn off the water. <laughs> We have here uh, the key for the water box. Turn it off. Now, the advantage to these, um, to these uh, connections um, in comparison to the ones you use with um, the plier, uh, those can only be used once. Because if they're shrunk, they're shrunk. And these ones you can just disconnect and use again. So for this situation it's the best because this is temporary and I'm probably going to use these connections uh, somewhere else in the future. Uh, as you may remember, um, the issue I had was um, when I put this to the wall that uh, the multicam connection I have now uh, brings the hose in front and that's not very uh, handy. So uh, I now got um, an L connection that will, uh, I'll show you, that will put it uh, down. Ah, I have them already here. Um, Ah, this is actually the wrong one. Wait. So I made a mistake again. Um, these would go to the wall, like I said. And then we would have these that you could screw in here. And you would say, what is wrong? Uh, I only have one. And I need one for hot and for cold water. So. <laughs> Somehow I bought uh, two of these with um, the screw inside and that's not gonna fit. So, but luckily, <laughs> as a temporary solution, I still have one of these. So that'll make, uh, that'll make this into outside uh, be able to screw it into the other one, like so. Uh, so that's a solution also. <laughs> It'll look better. Uh, but I do need some, uh, some tape now. So let's see where we're gonna put these. So we have the things coming from the, from the crane. So I should put them on here. We can see where we can put them. I um, think I'm going to put the one on this side 
and one on the other side here. Since I've already cut the cold water um, to here, I don't want to use a new pipe. So I'll put the cold water on this side and the warm water on the other side. So this connection needs some tape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Most of the time seven twistings is, uh, is enough. like that. And then we need a small piece here to go to the T connection. So it will be like this. Let's see until where this hose needs to go. That'll be right about there. Now you can't see that but I got my finger on it. And then cut it. In exactly that place. So now we can already screw this one on. Remember the handy tool we had for widening it. Then the T connection. Pop it over there. Tighten this just a little to um, first get the other connections ready. So then we need the right size for this. That'll be very easy, just see that this thing is a little bit level. And then we go to, oh wait, we need to go over it, yes. And then right about there. Cut it. Then first we put the rings on it. Then we use the tool to widen them again. Let's do both sides. And then we should very easy be able to fit those on there. Here it's squeaking, it's okay. Squeak, squeak. And then let's get the right one. This is the cold water. Still has the other thing on it. And we will connect the cold water to there. Remember, this, al this already had a rubber ring, so we don't need any uh, tape. That should be fine. So that's one. Now we're gonna go uh, here, we're gonna go to the shower. Let's do the other side. First, let's see where we can put it on the wall. Somewhere there.
advantage of this extra piece here in between is that this uh, multicam pipe is going to come a little bit more into the front than the cold water. So that should help in getting uh, the hot water past the cold water and then connecting it a little bit more in front because this is coming a little bit more off the wall. Got it? Ooh, sis brought me some coffee. That's very welcome. Thanks, sis. Let's see, it's not completely straight, so I'm gonna straighten it out like that. Uh, maybe I should do this first because um, here this pipe is uh, hanging. So I want to have a wall connection here somewhere. So the pipes stay in their place. Uh, so I better do that first and then I know exactly where the hot water is gonna come here. Let's see if we can do that. Last thing you see probably was uh, these. They were nicely connected to the wall. Um, then I put in the, um, the T corners, both sides, and then extended uh, the multicam to the shower. Uh, here I'm gonna here I'm gonna place another bracket. It's also not very interesting to see, just to keep the pipes uh, stable to the wall, so they don't start. Uh, clapping when you put on the water. Um, yeah, the same connections here. Uh, wall plate. Um, the things that come with uh, the crane from the shower to put them at the right width. I didn't need that because I was still gonna put them on the wall. And here's the shower head. I didn't want to put it there because um, yeah, this is a tiny space. I did, however, want to put the crane there because it's gonna come to the front a lot and if I would put it here, then you would have less space to stand. Works perfect. So I also bought, um, we bought some accessoires. Toilet roll holder, simple mirror, and uh, some stuff to keep the toothbrushes. Uh, <laughs> I also made a I think to put on the towels. I had these funny chairs from Ikea. Uh, and I put them on a wooden plate so it's easier to screw them to the wall with two screws. So, um, cost analysis. Uh, I do have some stuff left um, that I didn't use. I wanted to put in a crane, but I didn't get to that. And um, yeah not really needed and some of the multicam uh, things i bought extra so i'm not gonna count uh, for those uh, i do also have some multi uh, multicam pipe left i think we used about uh, half so um, 15 meters i think um, in total i spent about um, eight hours i think on uh, all the water stuff uh, the main, uh, it took me uh, about uh, one hour to drill this hole. And yes, here so also of course I connected it, uh, as you've seen uh, yesterday, to the existing uh, water connection. Um, yeah, so uh, costs. Um, let me see. I got a... I'll put it in the video also, so you can see uh, what the total cost was for this uh, exercise here. Yeah, we a lot of other stuff is on here, um, but let me uh, let me quickly uh, run by uh, run by the different parts. 
Yeah, so uh, this was the most expensive thing, of course. Uh, it was um, 179 uh, euros. Um, like I say, Eco, um, 50 liter, it's more than enough. Uh, it heats up really fast and it doesn't use that much uh, energy. Uh, the <laughs> for the toilet, the, the water reservoir, this was the, the water reservoir that was uh, in the video for the DIY store compare. Uh, this was uh, 14 euro 95. 14, one four. <laughs> yeah. Um, then of course we have the, the multicam piping. Let me see. Where is the multicam piping? Multicam piping, 25 meters, uh, 17 euros 49. I, I think I used about uh, 15 meters and there's still uh, 10 meters there, maybe a little over 15 meters. Um, then we have the disc crane for the, for the sink. That was more expensive than that one, a lot. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so this was um, 42 euros for this crane. Um, that's about the same price I would, uh, I would think the crane would cost in, uh, in Holland. This crane, however, it's on the other list. It was 12 euro 89 <laughs> for a shower crane. Uh, then the, the hose and the shower head without the, um, the bar where it's hanging on. This was also uh, about the same price, I think. Uh, where is it? Ah, sorry. <laughs> I bought that already uh, at the first uh, visit. See, because it was about the same price. Yes, <laughs> 13 euro. So same price for the grain <laughs> as it was for the hose and the shower head. Uh, it's remarkable to me. Uh, then this uh, this uh, shower uh, bar. Yeah, we bought it at the Brica Marche, and it's plastic. It was very cheap. Uh, it was uh, eight euro fifty, I think. And it also came with another shower head and another uh, hose. For durability, this is not uh, maybe not the, the best option. It is very cheap, and uh, yeah, for the environment, it's also of course not the best option. So maybe reconsider uh, some of this uh, next time. Um, the same goes for other stuff uh, that we bought at um, Portugal. Has these uh, hyper China, has these China markets. Hyper China, Super China, and it's all Chinese stuff. So we, for instance, we bought the toilet roll holder there for three euros fifty. But uh, Chinese stuff is very funny, you know, because uh, there's a screw behind here, and the bar still has to come through. Uh, although the screw is behind uh, this bar, <laughs> and the way the Chinese uh, deliver this, uh, the bar cannot fit anymore in there if you put the screw in the wall. So uh, yeah, I drilled it out a little bit so the screw would fit in a little bit more. So that's the disadvantage with Chinese stuff. And uh, that is not good for, uh, for our globe. Um, so what's left? Then we still have uh, the connections. Um, I'll uh, display them uh, in the video. These uh, T connections were the most expensive. They were about uh, 4 euro 69. Uh, the other L connections, uh, they were about uh, 3 euros. And uh, the wall plates, let me see. Yeah, so the wall plates were also uh, almost 5 euros. I needed the four of them. Oh yeah, one thing uh, I also needed to buy extra was uh, these ones. There were uh, two that came with the crane. Uh, but they had a different size here to connect to the wall plate. Uh, these were uh, not even three euro, I think. They were 280 or something a piece. So I needed uh, two of them. So I have no idea at the moment what the total cost would be, but you will see it uh, now on the screen. Ah, one, uh, one more thing is of course uh, the extra tools I bought. Uh, it wasn't much. It was uh, these scissors for cutting the, the multicam 
and this tool we didn't even use. Uh, the scissors was, uh, I think, about 8 euros, and this was about 5 euros, I think. 5 euros spent unnecessarily. So that could give you um, an idea of the total cost. You'll see it in the screen now. Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna count it when, uh, when I edit the video. Um, but I can't believe it's that much. Yes, of course, the boiler makes it uh, uh, more expensive. But believe me, you do want a hot shower. So uh, next time we'll uh, tackle another project. So far uh, for uh, all the water now, this is the temporary situation we have set up for the next uh, couple of months to a year. Yeah, we're gonna work on the, the other bathrooms in the other parts uh, of the house while we use this. And then maybe I'll, uh, I'll do another video in, uh, in some time when we uh, start with those bathrooms. It's gonna be uh, more extensive than this one. And it's gonna be uh, a lot neater uh, in uh, placement of all the stuff because it, uh, this is only temporary. Oh, I'm very happy with this. Yesterday uh, I took a hot shower here from this shower. It was marvelous. So, see you again next time. Take care.